I don't know about you, but me, I'm a big fan of retro gaming. I really love going back and replaying some of my favorite games from my childhood. I'm talking Super Mario, SimCity, Pilot Wings, Donkey Kong, the original 007, and many others. If you're into retro gaming as well, then you probably know the very best way to play them is in that 4x3 aspect ratio. But I don't want a dusty ass, giant, big boxy TV cramping my style, so I went ahead and picked up this Cloud Mountain 4x3 projector screen. Stick around, I'm gonna show you how to set this thing up. We'll take a look at the quality, play some games, and I'll let you know what I think. What's good, people? I'm Yeti Machete, Tech and Ain't Easy. I'm here to help. So, installation is really easy. You got two options here. You can hang it from the wall via the mounting holes on the back or do like I did and hang it from the ceiling using a couple of hooks. Now, unlike your standard pull-down projector screens, this one is motorized, which I think is awesome as hell, man. Uh, you bring a girl home and show her your motorized projector screen, she'll be wanting to come over every single night for retro and chill. <laughs> Uh, you got a control box which can be mounted on the wall for a clean look but you also get a remote so you're not stuck getting up every single time you want to raise or lower this thing. Alright so let's throw some classic games up while I give you my thoughts and opinions. Now who can tell me the name of this awesome game? Shoot me a comment down below. So everything looks good here man, colors are bright and vivid and compared to my walls this is miles better in my opinion. Uh, I already have a 16 by 9 projector for movies but I wanted to pick up this 4x3 screen for my room specifically for retro games. Uh, I'm still working on that room so I had to use my smaller room to film this and that's why the gameplay isn't taking up the entire screen. Now, one quick thing to note here, when you get this and you lower it for the first time, there's gonna be some waviness to the screen but if you just leave it down for about an hour or so, uh, it'll flatten out nicely. Overall, I'm really happy and I really don't have any complaints here. I mean, it's a screen. It works perfectly for what I need it for. Uh, however, I will say that if you're going to be watching movies on it as well, kind of use it for a dual purpose, then I think you should get the 16 by nine version. But if you're gonna be strictly viewing four by three content, this is a solid choice. I'll drop links to both the 16 by nine and four by three versions down in the description and I'll try to have the best possible price for you as well. Now, let me know your favorite retro games in the comments down below. Mine has to be Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Epic game, man. Uh, but that wraps up the video, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. I'm gonna smack that like button. And if you haven't yet, definitely check out some other content. Consider subscribing. I would appreciate it greatly. I'm signing off. Catch you guys in the next one.